If you have the Granicus Facebook plugin installed, you can connect it to the page of your choice. And the Facebook plugin is in the uh, app menu on the left up there. If it's not already on the page, you can just drag it in there. So I have it down here at the bottom. All right, so here's the Facebook feed plugin. Uh, to connect it to your feed, you need to do a couple of things. You title it whatever you want to. And then if this hasn't been authorized, you'll have to authorize it. Uh, otherwise, if it's already authorized, you're going to select reauthorize. Before you do that, though, you need the ID of the page. So that you have to get from Facebook. So from your Facebook page, in the center section underneath, uh, look for about. If it's not there, maybe it's under more. But go to the about section of your page. And if you scroll down there, you should see under more information, the page ID. And so you want to copy that ID right there. Once you have that ID, then in the Granicus web system, you can enter that ID here. Uh, how many posts do you want to see? I think three is a good number. And then you need to authorize it. Now, the authorization means this app is going to go check with Facebook and say, hey, do you have the right to access this page? So in whatever browser you're editing on, you want to make sure you are at your Facebook page here, logged in as whatever user you have to edit that page. So you got to be logged into Facebook. You got to get the page, Facebook uh, page ID. And then you want to decide if you want to grab your whole feed which could be other stuff besides your, your posts or just your posts. And I recommend it be just your posts. So I think the title is fine as Facebook. You wanna use uh, posts. You wanna make sure you have your page ID set. Um, you wanna show the Facebook post details, otherwise there's not much that's gonna happen. And then you wanna authorize or reauthorize using that account with whoever your Facebook user is um, to make that connection to Facebook. Once you get that done, save it. And then you should have access to the Facebook feeds from that account. Uh, a thing about that is the you don't really get much here besides your profile pic or your default pic your picture for that page, uh, some text you typed uh, as your title. And then if there's a link, you get the link. If there's no link, you get an NA um, that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, so the only time this is really clickable is if the post you made had a link in it. Uh, otherwise, there's a, there'll be a link at the bottom and the top I set up uh, to go back to your Facebook page. Once you've done all that, then just publish it. And when you view your page outside of the editor, you should see it connecting to your Facebook posts. Hope that was helpful.